Michael McBroom in lane six. Michael Weiss out of Wisconsin, the 23-year-old in lane seven. And Ryan Cochran, two-time Olympic medalist, will be in lane eight. But Connor Dwyer, Rowdy Gaines, a silver medal at the 2013 World Championships and one Olympic gold on the relay. Where does he stand now with time winding down again? Another good field and, and Dwyer in the prime of his career, 26 years of age. Swam at Florida, then went to North Baltimore. Great background. Now he's moved on to California, swimming out at USC for Dave Saylor. I think it's a good. I think he's in a good position to set himself up so well. And there's Ryan Cochran, as you said, a great international field, over 20 countries. A little short for him. Maybe. Yeah, very short. <laughs> he's in lane eight, uh, multiple medals in distance freestyles over the years, silver in 12 and bronze in, in 08. So he's going to be tough. If he's close with 20 meters left, he's going to be a big factor. He's way down in the bottom of your screen, lane number eight. And that silver medal was at 1,500 meters. As this, uh, to emphasize the point that for Cochran, again, the Canadian down in lane eight, this is a real sprint for him. He's just getting warmed up with about 400 meters in. Middle of the pool, Connor Dwyer, Bobby Hurley inside of him in lane three. Dion Driesen of the Netherlands in lane five, the fastest qualifiers. Four different countries represented in this arena race. And you could just sense that Dwyer, I saw him earlier, waved at him. I didn't get a chance to talk to him, but he kind of gave me a thumbs up, and I, I, I felt like he's in a good place right now in his life. Hey, listen, it's not a bad place to live, Southern California. Not bad, not bad. Uh, I'm one of his maybe near neighbors, if you extend the zip code a little bit. You know, you mentioned that Connor Dwyer, 26 years of age, moving into his prime. What a difference from the time when you were swimming, Rowdy. When you were 26, you were an old swimmer. Now you're just coming into your prime. It's true. In fact, when I won in 1984, I was 25, Paul. I was the third oldest swimmer in history to win an individual gold medal. And at that time, it was thought of to be ancient. Well, now that you're hitting 25, 26, you're just beginning to come into your prime. And that's exactly where Dwyer's at, who has a, a great family atmosphere. Father Pat, Mother Jeannie, they both went out for a morning swim at the Masters Group. 5.30 this morning, they're out early swimming. So come from a great swimming family. He's got great genes. There he is, about a second and a half out in the lead. Everybody's trying to chase him down, starting to put his kick into it now. Well, Connor Dwyer comfortably in the lead now, followed by Bobby Hurley and Dreesen's out of the Netherlands, at least at the turn, coming for home and looking very comfortable and very strong in the middle of the pool. Connor Dwyer again, silver medal in 2013 at the World Championships in men's 200 meter freestyle. And he brings it home in 147 76 and wins this event quite comfortably. Hurley in second at 149.50. Not a bad swim at all, Paul. Not bad at all. 47-7. Remember, he was 46-4 last year. So a little over a second off his time that he went last year. He's been 145. Here's the first 100 turn here, Paul. And as you can see, he just attacks that turn so well. He tucks his chin to his chest right on that last stroke. Gets off the wall so well. Got a great dolphin kick. Big tall guy, 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, so he's got great length of stroke. Good turnover, great distance per stroke. Each stroke that he takes, he gets so much out of. So he's taking less strokes than everybody else. So he tires less quickly. Good finish at the end, winning it, going away. Bobby Hurley finishing second, and Dreesen for the Netherlands trying to come in and close the distance and finishes third. Michael Weiss finishes in fourth. Michael Klee in fifth place. Ryan Cochran in sixth. But a very strong swim from start to finish for Connor Dwyer. And uh, Connor, congratulations. A superb swim. And, and talk about your game plan for this particular swim, or do you just put your head down and you have a plan going in and you just swim it irrespective of what anybody else is doing you, either to your right or to your left? Yeah, for this one, I just want to take it out strong. Been training hard. It's our first long course meet, so wanted to see what I can do and happy with the 147 to start the year. How's that move been, that California sun treating you well? Yeah, <laughs> loving the sun out there. <laughs> How do you like swimming outdoors compared to swimming indoors? Uh, it makes a big difference. If I'm going to be swimming twice a day, I'd like to do it outside in the sun. Connor, Rowdy was just saying that at 26 now, you're coming into your very best years. How much confidence does that give you? And do you agree with that assessment? Yeah, I was a late bloomer. So I think it's fair to say that I'm in the best swimming, swimming years of my life. So I'm trying to take advantage of it in the next year and a half.
Congratulations. Great start, buddy, to the year. Thanks, guys.